Elicit Armori by Gaetano Donizetti. The synopsis is presented by Opera Inside, the online opera guide. The roles. Adina, a rich tenant farmer and capricious girl. Nemarino, a farmer and simple young man. Belcori, a sergeant garrisoned in the village. Dal Kamara, an itinerant quack. Nemarino is a shy and somewhat simple-minded farmer. He is in love with the wealthy and handsome Adina. But Adina doesn't pay any attention to him. During a work break she reads to her workers from the book of Tristan and Isolde. She amuses herself about how the two had found each other by means of a love potion. Nemarino listens with interest from afar. A group of soldiers arrives in the village. The conceited Sergeant Belcori recruits for the army and courts the pretty Adina. Adina, flattered, rejects him. Once again Nemarino expresses his love to Adina, but she laughs at him. Nemarino is desperate. A crowd comes together in the village square. The traveling quack Dulcamara offers his remedies against all sorts of ailments. Nemarino remembers Adina's story and asks Dulcamara if he also has a love potion. Dulcamara is happy about an easy business and sells the unsuspecting a bottle of wine as a love potion. However, with effect only in 24 hours, when Dulcamara will have left the village. Nemarino finishes the bottle immediately. Soon he sings happily to himself. Adina talks to him, surprised since she has never seen him so happy before. Nemarino replies that he will be together with his lover tomorrow. Adina, in the opinion that Nemarino means another girl, is hard hit in her vanity. So, it's highly convenient that Belcor is passing by. Adina promises him the wedding. The wedding date will be in 6 days, which amuses Nemarino, because he will have won Adina's love by then. Suddenly Belcori gets the message that his regiment has to move in the following day. Adina and Belcori agree on an immediate wedding. Nemarino implores Adina to postpone the wedding for one day. But nobody listens to the desperate Nemarino. Nemarino turns to Dulcamara. He recommends him to buy a second bottle to speed up the effect. But Nemarino has spent all his savings on the first bottle. His rival Belcori comes up with the idea. Nemarino shall enlist as a soldier. With the money he could buy the second bottle. So Nemarino signs the recruiting document, buys Dulcamara's elixir and quickly drinks it, to win Adina's heart before the wedding. In the meantime, a village girl has learned that Nemarino's rich uncle has died and bequeathed a pretty sum to him. Suddenly the unaware Nemarino is surrounded by the village girls. Nemarino is now convinced of the effect of the love potion. Adina, who knows nothing about the death of Nemarino's uncle, learns from Dulcamara that Nemarino has sold himself to Belcori because of her. The moved Adina repays the recruiting fee. She brings the document to Nemarino and confesses her love. Nemarino is in seventh heaven. Dulcamara praises his love potion and the whole village buys the wonderful essence. www.operainside.com All about operas. Learn more about this great opera. With interesting facts and great YouTube videos. Visit us.